<laughs> of course, I forgot to do a uh, speed test before to see if I uh, even stand a chance of being able to stream tonight. Ooh. Uh, get you air elemental. Just stop moving. There we go. Get him. Wow. Switch picked up pretty quick. Whiff. I blame the blink. There we go. Hello, everyone. It is Friday. Yay, Friday. Um, November 10th, 2017. <laughs> I'm done. That's Randy. That's Cyndaquil. That's Gatsby Rhodes. Happy Friday, Gatsby Rhodes. We're still playing Final Fantasy XI online. Alright, so tonight's going to be a version update video. We actually get some new stuff. Well, we get new stuff every month, but uh, it'll be a little interesting. I just need to... I don't need to, but I'm going to kill just a few more beasts. Take care of this little Unity Accolade I'm working on. It's more kitty having fun. one shot and stuff. Frostmane was up just a little while ago. We one shot him for like 13k. It was kind of cool. <laughs> Nine more. Really? I think it's gonna be that many. I have to wait for repops. Never mind. I'll just get this one, and then yeah, I know Beastmaster is like OP, isn't it? An easier way would probably just be a run in front of everything, ground them all up, then sick the kitty on them. <laughs> yeah, that'd probably be easier. Oh well. We'll come back and finish this. Um, 19 out of 200? No. 13 out of 20. It's not too bad. It's not too great. And there's no music here, so we're definitely gonna need to change spots here in just a moment. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think where would be a good place to go, music-wise. Mahara? No, why not? <laughs> Actually, hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Let's go someplace that nobody goes to anymore. Tabnazian Safehold. They got music there. We'll hang out there. Ish. Probably. Home Point Crystal. That's what I'm running for. I had a mount button the whole time. I should have mounted. H. Galleon! Happy Friday. I'm gonna travel to another home point. We're gonna do Tabnazia. Just for giggles. Home point number one. Two. That's the one at the bottom. Yeah, we'll do number three. It's the one at the top. Because, you know, reasons. We're going to try something just a little bit different. I made a new scene in OBS specifically for version updates. Did Dynamis Divergent Sandy earlier. Congratulations! Did you get everything that you ever wanted? Probably already like upgraded everything. Got the win! Congrats! I found out that uh, you need at least three players to go in, and then you gotta wait 60 hours before you can do it again. But, well, that sucks. Kind of does too. Sit. Oops. Go here. Sit. Chair. Ten. Which one's ten? Ten's the invisible chair. That's not the one I wanted. <laughs> Sit. Chair. Eight. Which one's that one? Eh, that one will work. Ish. Kinda. Yeah, actually that almost goes well with that thing. I was 18, learned a lot, I'm an expert now. <laughs> I hope you streamed it. That way I get to watch it later and see what you did. Alright, so I'm gonna hit a magical button here. And it's probably gonna fail. I mean... I'm like pretty sure it's gonna fail. So this button. Let's see what happens. I'm afraid to look. I'm looking on the screen over here. So if I alt tab it, it's gonna be all, you know, alt tab. There we go. Oh my goodness, I think it worked. Alright, so I see we still got the Final Fantasy XI thing down at the bottom. Titles up there, there's our syndicals up to the right. And you get this big blank white space above me, but that's just part of the uh, uh, window that we're on right now. So yeah. Alright. Went in with 18. Got the win. Oh, wait. I see. I'll come back to that. I can always edit it later. The chat seems to be just a little bit too high. 
Yeah. We got two Beastman medals. Heard those are going for up to twenty-five million. <laughs> Oh wait, so you can actually purchase those if you have 25 million and then um, turn around and use that to like upgrade your gear because that'd be kind of neat. I mean, not right now, wait for the price to go down. So we're just going to go over this real quick here. Um, this is just a regular web page. You can play online and this is Play Online's uh, Twitter page. I got stuff going on. Um, uh oh. Kitty wants out. <laughs> uh, just to get some little bit of news out of the way, the Return Home to Benadryl campaign starts. started today. You should be able to. anybody that's ever played Final Fantasy XI before. Um, should be able to log back in for free between today and uh, November 24th at 12 a.m. Eligibility and stuff like this is. You can find the link from the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, play online page. They also have a discount campaign going on right now where if you haven't purchased all the, uh, expansions, then you can get everything for like $9.99. And World Transfer Service has been knocked down from 18 bucks to 9 bucks, so that's kind of cool for all you people in Asura that want to go elsewhere. Um... I wanted to actually move this to the end, so we'll come back to that one. All right, Blizzard Brand, what do we got here? This is the login campaign. Uh, 500 points this month, you can purchase a sword that looks like an ice sword, and if you purchase two of them, you can merge them together, get an ice sword plus two. Uh, one interesting thing to point out is Shantoto 2 Trust NPC is back. 300 points, get her, especially all you people that uh, have come back just for the two weeks. Pick her up, it'd be worth it. Crab mount, beetle mount, if you don't have them. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I got a lot of, uh, how shall we say, salvage stuff in here. And a couple of ciphers, not a lot of them. I'm trying to think if any of these are must haves. Not just Sybil, Lion, Najalit, Uka. I would say Uka probably one to get. Zed, Zed has his moments. I would get those two if you don't already have them, but get them all if you don't already have them. They're only 100 points each. <laughs> That's pretty cheap. Uh, what is this? 15th anniversary of anniversary records of Eminence objective. This is the part three one. I'll just read it up real quick. We're pleased to announce the third series of 15th anniversary records of Eminence objectives. These objectives are intended to provide additional experiences for our players who started as simple adventurers from the three nations and blossomed into the heroes era today. This third group of objectives centers on Juno, with guest appearances by some of your favorite NPCs and that says comestibles. I'm embarrassed to say I don't know what that word means. If you're a veteran player, take a moment to remember the early days of Anadil. If you're a fresh recruit, then enjoy this taste of previous Final Fantasy XI flavor. They're going to make you hop on the airship, I bet. Totally make you hop on the airship. Alright, event period. From the version update on Friday, November 10th to the version update in May 2018. Alright, objective 15th anniversary records of eminence objectives can be set from the records of eminence menu. After completion of the objective, first step forward. Those quests marked as weekly may only be completed once per week, and the rest when conquest points are tallied. Receiving the respective key item will requires completion of the objective displayed at the very top. These objectives will yield different rewards and become weekly objectives Excuse me, after they have be been completed for the first time. Okay. 15th anniversary objectives will remain available after the May 2018 version update, but their rewards will change and you will no longer be able to attain the dial keys anniversary. And this just tells you how to do it, what the rewards are. Um, these keys may be used to open the Gubby Box Mystery Anniversary dial by speaking with NPCs in the following locations. These are all the Gubby Boxes. Anniversary dial may occasionally yield items and equipment not ordinarily found in the special dial. You may open the anniversary dial even after May 2018 version update as long as you possess a dial key. And then the ancient melody, this key item has no particular use at the moment, but might have something special associated 
when combined with other key items to be added in future version updates. So we'll be going over this one quite a bit. Lorzok Smash. Happy Friday. Mog Bonanza. Why is this one so much smaller? I have no idea. Um, there's going to be a Mog Bonanza. You can actually start purchasing the marbles tomorrow or later tonight. And then you can continue to purchase them all the way till December 11th. Winning the numbers will be announced on January 11th. So that's like two months that uh, we're going to have minus 10 inventory space. Sad face. Uh, prize list. We got stuff. I'm guessing Relic 119 weapon, Imperion 119 weapon, uh, Mythic 119 weapon. And would this be the Aeonic? 119 weapon? It's just a guess. I really don't know. Um, R90, E90. I'm not familiar with those. AW, GE4, UW. <laughs> I'll click on one, see what it says. Oh, it goes right down here. Uh, hand to hand weapons. Come up, it's plus one is nice. Okay. So this coupon can be redeemed for one of the following spells from Unity Wanted Objectives. Oh. So you can actually get like the uh, king ones if you don't already have them. That would be kind of neat. Wow. There's actually quite a few things on here. You can also, if you get, this is only if you get first place. Um, you can also just choose 100 million gil. Because, you know. <laughs> and then you get some other stuff, more stuff, more stuff, more stuff. And you know me, I'm just going to get all the dial keys. Because I'm always bad luck. Might be able to get one of these. Oh well. What else? Um, make this a little bit bigger. Enjoy chasing. Oh, the spriggans. Okay. Enjoy chasing after spriggans and bobbling slimes on the head with the return of this special collaboration. All right. So this is was it Dragon Quest or Dragon Warrior? And then also Final Fantasy fourteen spriggan dudes. This also starts tomorrow and goes on till November thirtieth. And erroneous information regarding the ending date for this event was corrected on Tuesday, November 7th at 12 a.m. All right, Dragon Quest Online, event details. Oh, that's kind of cute, actually. <laughs> you get little slime hats and slime shields and... And it looks like you can get monstrosity slimes. That would be awesome, now that I think about it. <laughs> oh, that's kind of creepy. And... Get little outfits. Cynical doesn't have this yet. Looks like a weapon. And then you can also get those as monstrosities. So that might actually be worth doing. Cool. And this is something that I missed um, way back when. The uh, little pixelated uh, art pictures that you can put in your monk house. This has something to do with a Japan only smartphone game called Picked Logica. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I probably didn't pronounce that right, but oh well. Um, methods of acquisition when logging in or changing areas will receive one board depicting a famous figure from your home nation. Ah, so we're going to get that lady. And apparently there's ways to get multiples. Sorry, I'm still trying to kill all the bugs in the house. I've gotten quite a few of them. And then y'all can click the link and read all the details and talk to the gobby box and stuff 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 collect them all i trying to remember who it was that showed me the screenshot of their um second floor mug house that all the walls were basically covered in these things like massive um, is that tenzin <laughs> it might be we just need like just that one all over the place and this is going to be phase one of the returning support campaign. This is coinciding with the uh, return home campaign. Uh, first step forward, one system Final Fantasy XI introduced several years ago is called Records of Eminence. Uh, 117 stuff. Prove your item level. Get geared up. Get ready to do the end. Try Walls, Keeper Reeves. Make some money. Have some fun. Let's get to the version update. All right. Um, actually not a whole lot in here other than the new battle content. Item level 119 relic equipment may be further reforged, progressing in Dynamis Divergence battle content to be described below will enable players to further enhance relic equipment to item level 119. Wait, wasn't it already 119? 
I thought it was. Negator, 23. Happy Friday. Um, nothing's up at the moment, but hopefully there. Reforging equipment to plus two. Enter Dynamis Divergent as a job that can equip the relic equipment you would like to reforge. Reforging to plus three. Defeat the first boss in Dynamis Divergence as a job that can equip the relic equipment you would like to reforge. Okay, it makes sense. Items required for reforging. In addition to items obtainable in currently existing battle content, players will require foot shards and void footwear of the appropriate job. Foot shards can be purchased in exchange for Beastman's medals or occasionally obtained directly as spoils in Dynamis Divergence. And avoid footwear can be purchased in exchange for Kindred medals, sorry, Kindred's medals, or occasionally obtained directly as spoils in Dynamis Divergence. Beastman's medals and Kindred's medals may be exchanged with the triple question mark in Relude Gardens at G8. The third batch, so this is just a guess, I really don't know. Since it's void footwear, does this mean that with just the uh, sandy uh, dynamis opening up, is it just the uh, feet that we can upgrade right now and other pieces later? I don't know. That's just a guess. Uh, third batch of 15th anniversary records of objectives have been added. We already did that. It's made video dental. <laughs> Thank you, H. Galeon. Sweets, 907. Happy Friday. Uh, Escuchion questline has undergone the following adjustments. Players will now be able to change the order of selected materials when using Synthesis Focuser 2. Players will be able to switch between Crystal and Sphere using this new option. The default option will be Crystal once the version update is live. Players are now able to check Synthesis recipes when using Synthesis Focuser 2. And new designations have been added. Ooh. I'll right click that, open link in a new tab, and we shall watch that later. Alright, battle related. This is the meat and potatoes of tonight. Well, I would like to say it's meat and potatoes of tonight, but I need two other players to go in, and I'm not going to mess with Song and Den tonight. We'll do something else. A uh, new battle content known as Dynamis Divergence has been added. Requirements for participation have defeated one of the following foes in Dynamis Tabnazia. Diablo's Heart, Diablo's Diamond, Diablo's Spade, and Diablo's Club. This is basically the final boss. Um, if I remember correctly, you can just have to defeat the level 75 version. They do have a 99 version that I think is just a little bit more complicated. I might be wrong on that. It's been a long time. Hey, sweets. <laughs> Happy Friday, sweets. Um, so anyway... To okay, just a quick, quick, quick rundown. Um, Dynamis Tabnasia, that is along the nightmare version of Dynamis. The regular city version, um, you know, Bastok, Juno, Sandy, and the Hippie Place Windy. I think you have access to all four of those as soon as you get access to Dynamis. So you have to get the win in all of those. Actually, you might just need to win in the first three cities to get Juno. Then you need to win in Juno to get um, Bosidine. I might be wrong with that. I probably am. But anyway, after you get the win in Bosidine, then you can go to Dynamis... Uh, I almost said Valduin, yeah. Dynamis Archibald, And uh, you get the win there. But I don't think you need the win there to be able to go into the Dreamlands. You just need to be further along with COP where you basically met... Possibly fought and defeated Diablos. Don't remember. This is all just going off the top of my head. Sweets is coming back slowly. <laughs> so is Dent. So slowly. Like one millimeter at a time. Um after you there's three bosses and uh the Dreamlands. There's the I don't remember even what the bosses are. You got Vulcan Dunes, Bubarimo Peninsula, and Keepum Island. Uh kill those three bosses and you get access to is there anything before Tabnazio? I don't think so. I think after you get those three, then you have access to Tabnazio. I want to say there's something in between, but I can't remember what it would be. could be, even. Yeah, I think you just go straight to Tabnazio. And then you just kill stuff until you finally get a uh, some type of Bijou or Shadow or something like that. An item that you trade to a triple question mark by the entrance. And uh, that'll pop a Diablos, and you kill him. I think there's also a 99 version. He's a little bit more difficult, but, you know, 
It should be easy. And after, and this is just a prerequisite, you have to kill that guy. And once you kill that guy, then you can move on with the rest of it. Have completed the final chapter of Repsies of Anadil. Alright, so that's the end of the story. And that's the same thing that you need to do to take part in Omen anyways. Oh, and because of that, I wouldn't be able to bring Song and Dent anyways, because they haven't done this yet. Actually, I don't even think they've done this part yet. Not even Dent. <laughs> Enjoying! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Alright, have completed final chapter of Repsies of Anadil. Be in possession of the empty hourglass key item. Be in a party or alliance of between 3 and 18 members, so you can't solo it. All party members must be in possession of the requisite key item. Enjoin Dynamis Divergence. Speak with the triple question mark in Relude Gardens after having met the above conditions to hear an explanation on Dynamis Divergence. Receive an empty hourglass from Oryx in Relude Gardens in exchange for one of the following items. Note that your empty hourglass will not be consumed upon entering. Dynamis Divergence. So you need to trade either a Lungo Nungo Jade Shell, a Multion Solar Piece, or a 100 Bone Gold. That's a little steepish for an entry, but pretty easy to farm if you have access to Dynamis. The party leader must examine the enigmatic footprints in Southern Sandoria, K10, and elect to enter Dynamis Sandoria, D for Divergence. Restrictions on participation. Players will not be able to participate in Anonymous Divergence if any of the following are true. One or more participants does not possess an empty hourglass. Dent. Fifty or more parties are currently participating. Which, that should be fair, I think. That fifty players, or fifty parties can go in at one time. This isn't like Ambuscade limited to just five parties per server at the same time. I don't know if they ever fixed that. I hope they did. Um, one or more party members is currently awaiting entry with a different party. Oops. One or more party members has participated in Dynamis Divergence in the last 60 hours. So that's your three-day wait. Just like the old days. One or more party members is currently located in the Mog House. Yes. Don't wait in your Mog House to go to Dynamis. Canceling registration. Registration will be canceled if any of the following are true. The party leader has canceled registration by the enigmatic footprints. Three minutes have passed since being notified that Divergence is ready for entry. One or more party members is currently located in a mog house. The party leader leaves the area. The party leader teleports to another home point in the same area, whether by the black magic spell warp or other means. Okay, so don't do anything that causes you to kind of zone. If a non-party member leaves the area, registration will not be cancelled, but the character who left will not be able to enter Dynamis Divergence. Adding more party members after the registration will not cancel the registration, but the party will only be able to enter if it contains the same number of players at the time of registration or fewer. So say you get in line but you only have 16 players, then two people show up late and you add them. I don't know if those two people will be the ones that get left out be sad if it was like random two other players that would be sad oh my goodness a party can enter with fewer than a number of players present at the same time of registration but the number of alter egos that can be called forth will be based on the original number of party members i guess that makes sense so if you can go in with three as a party of three i'm trying to think if this could be like in a uh, omen and then if you drop party once you get in would you be able to like summon five trust npcs each time no you probably only be able to summon, summon three trust npcs per uh group yeah a party can enter with fewer than the number of players present at the time of registration but the number of alter egos that can be called forth will be based on the original number of party members okay so yeah, that's going to restrict that. So if you go in as a party of three and you try to s split up and then do your trust in PCs, you're going to be limited to um, three. <laughs> All right, the party leader must examine the enigmatic footprints once they have received notification that Dynamis Divergence is ready. The vanquish the monsters and bosses within Dynamis Divergence if there is a player present who has not vanquished the mini boss or main boss 
All players will receive personal rewards when the said mini boss or boss is vanquished. Time limit is 60 minutes or time. Time limit may be extended if certain conditions are met. Players will be automatically removed once the time limit has expired. Players may also leave at any time by using the black hourglass temporary item. So that's a quick rundown. I haven't gone in there yet. Um, H. Galen did post a link to his run. Y'all can go watch that. Uh, the foes present in normal and intense ambuscades have been switched out. So we got Mr. Warden, it looks like. If I had to guess, I'd say he's probably going to be the intense version. Certain rewards obtainable in exchange for homeworks have been swapped out. Certain rewards obtainable for meeting total homework milestones have been switched out. And certain rewards obtainable in exchange for badges of gallantry have been switched out. Following alter egos have undergone the following adjustments. Matt or Ma'at. I, I just call him Matt. I don't know if that's the correct way to call him, though. The effect of TP on the following weapon skills are now the same as those for player. Combo, one-inch punch, howling fist, dragon kick, Azerin fist. Remember the first time he killed me? It was with Azerin fist. <laughs> that was a long time ago. The potency of the weapon skill bear killer has been increased. Woot! Domina. The potency of the weapon skill Salvation Scythe has been increased. If I have to guess, I'm going to say Domina is Domina Shantoto. That's a guess. Aldo, and this is probably not the Unity version of Aldo, the potencies of the following weapon skills have been increased. Inquisitious Stab, Shockstorm Edge, Choreographed Carnage, Lock and Load. I kind of like that. I never actually fight with the uh, normal Aldo. I used to fight with the Unity one. And he had like a version of Rudra Storm that I can't remember the name of. All right, item related. New items have been added. A new synergy recipe has been added. It's amateurs. The Blizzard Brand plus one where you need two of those login point items. And uh, yeah, make a Blizzard Brand plus one. I guess I could try to do that. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Resolved issues. The issue wherein background music would not play on the title screen after logging out under certain conditions. I had noticed that. And here I thought I had just changed some setting and forgotten about it. And... I had to wait for the little... Very little truck to move away. The issue with Prom Promivian Mia. Wherein monsters would occasionally spawn in areas where players could not reach. Yay. Known issues. Well, not that many this time. Article information for certain monsters appearing in Dynamis Divergence is incorrect. Glowing effects occasionally display at certain coordinates in Dynamis Sandoria D. So, alright. That's that. Unfortunately, unless somebody says, hey, come on down. Um, I'm not going to really uh, be able to show off the divergence, but I'll go ahead and mess around with the ambuscade for a little bit. But I think first and foremost, hit that button, see if I can help tab here, and looks like so far so good. Um, let's go make a uh, blizzard brand. I think my controller went to sleep. Cynical, get up. There we go. Oh, all right, and I missed a lot of chat, so I'm going to scroll back up real quick here and read this. H. Galen did Dynamis Divergent Sandy, got the win. Went in with 18, learned a lot. I'm an expert now. Two Beastman medals. Heard those are going for up to 25 million each. That is a lot of gil. So, going to try to sell them. Yeah, all the items are sellable, aside from the foot shards. Foot shards are EX, I think. Basically, every mob drops cards similar to Dynamis Currency. Between one and four cards drop each mob. And there is a small chance, less than 10%, that they can drop the foot shards. Okay. Cool. Definitely going to watch that. All right, so... Login points. I think I got 500 login points. Then I think I probably carried over... Maybe 750? Maybe find out. Kitty really wants out. We're going to travel to another home point. We're going to do... But Dynamis is very fun. 
as it should be. Love the old school gameplay. Awesome. Is it is it really like the old days where you have to actually sleep everything and everybody has to assist the tank and oh my goodness. Can you wait till we get to Windy? <laughs> it's pretty close to old school. Awesome. Alright, so fast stock mines by the yeah, let's go to auction house. And yes please. Everything links. Statues, pop all the mobs. Oh, great. Guess I'll have to level Black Mage. <laughs> Let's go and do uh, full screen mode. And I'll tab over here. Alright. They only have True Sight. That's good. Not Sound. So they all have Linear Vision. Can go behind them. <laughs> That's great. Sir Wedgie! For, I forgot what day it was. It's Friday. Happy Friday, Sir Wedgie. Black Mage is a must. Do you need a Black Mage for the statues? They are pretty strong. So, I picked mines because that's where the uh, thingies are. You know. But I forgot that. I have to go to Port Bastok for the login points. Traveling to another home point current region, Port Mog House. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't mind leveling Black Mage now. Or gearing up Black Mage now. As long as I can do it, you know, on the cheap. Group of six with the right balance and good gear slash merits can farm plus two, but not the boss. Boss need at least twelve. It's good to know. All right, we've got, ooh, exactly 1,000 points. So let's check an exchange. Let's get the 500 point item. Let me just check real quick, 1,000 points. I uh, got it. Don't need it, don't need it. Probably don't need it. Definitely don't need it. Ooh, easily farmed. Well, not exactly easily farmed. All right, 750 points. Just make sure there's no trees in here because I do want trees. Oh, carp creel, anyway. Alright, that's cool. 500 points. Oh yeah, 300 point item that everybody needs to get more so than this thing I'm about to purchase. The uh, Cypher of Shantoto's Alter Ego number 2. This is a must. Mm, tell me how to pronounce your name just the other day. Wicked Tron 42. Oh, I said that right. Happy Friday. Biggest question at this point I have is where the second 30 minute time extension to make a boss gives 30 minutes. We found an orc notorious monster in his own after the boss died called Halfoss. Don't know what it does. Thank you. <laughs> and yeah, of course I already have that one. Cumulus Mask is neat. You get two of those and you can use it to teleport you to Omen, I think. Not Omen. Um, Ryzenjima. I think it's Ryzenjima. That it looks kind of creepy. If you like to look kind of creepy. And we're going to do 500 points for this wonderful sword. Blizzard Brand. Damage 1, delay 240, level 1, all jobs. Yes. I want to do two to the I guess we're going to get two. Alright. we got two Blizzard Brands. Let's get out of here. Also, the music for the zone is really eerie. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So it's going to be different music than what they had for Dynamos 1.0. And we're going to do Best of Minds again. Auction House. Yes, I liked it so much I uploaded it to YouTube. <laughs> Click that in the link as well. We'll come back to it. Eventually. And... Alright, so I'm not a very good synergist. In fact, I don't even think I've got synergy skill one. I might have one. Definitely don't have two. Let's check real quick here. Of course, I don't think you need high synergy skill for this. I have synergies three. That's more than I thought it was going to be. Alright, so if I remember correctly, I think you have to talk to it first to claim it. There you go. 
And then you can trade your two items in there. There we go. It's going to make... Alright. Additional effect, ice damage. Ooh, it does damage two. Enchantment blizzard. And it looks like um, it's an unlimited enchant, so... Alright. Let's see if we do this. Commence the synergy. Commencing synergy process. And it looks like you just need to use ice energy? Maybe? I don't know. Let's find out. Um, feed farewell. Or farewell. That looks like ice. Alright, the finished product has taken form. Alright. End synergy. Blizzard Brand plus one has been successfully synergized. And equal obtains 30 punzes of cinder. Alright. So I should have it. Go here. There, there it is. It's very blue. Let's do a. It's hurrah, right? Where you take out your weapon? Or is it hooray? It is hooray. Ding! If you ever need a level one item, <laughs> I missed that. Apologize to everybody that's wearing headphones and I just clap my hands without warning. <laughs> Love the new music. Thanks for sharing. Oh, now I'm gonna want to listen to it. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Storage options. My wardrobe. I need to get the. If I don't put the right dealy wop in here, I'll forget to do it later. There we go. All right. So ambuscade, because. Why not? We'll probably be doing... Oh, we've got a lot of catch-up to do. So, oh, let's actually look at the Faniversary stuff real fast here. Papyrus Pursuer. Receive an ancient Papyrus as spoils the requisite number of times. You know how long we spent in an Acropolis killing those licks for the Papyrus? It was like six hours. It took forever. Even the Japanese player in the party was starting to get... Antsy. And Japanese never get antsy. Alright, hide and go seek. Synthesize Dalmel leather, the requisite number of times. Once. Okay, that's not so bad. Is that called hide and go seek, though? Full deck. Speak with Chululu in Lower Juno and complete either of the quests, collect the tarot cards, or all in the cards. This bug is like taunting me, so it can't catch me. And keep flying in front of you. You must complete this quest again, even if you have done so previously. I don't think I've ever completed that quest. I'm not even sure if uh, Lanos has ever completed that quest. Unwavering Protector. Speak with Rondapur in Northern Sandoria and complete the quest Escort for Hire. Oh no! Oh, I hate the Escort ones. You must complete this quest again, even if you have done so previously. I mean, it should be easier now but still restore hp by healing the requisite number of times 100 or 100 hit points that seems like a lot or you just it seems like a lot maybe it's something you can just you know sit go to heal go make a sandwich come back and uh So, Gastro Revolution 3. Use Squid Sushi or Roast Mushroom, the requisite number of That would explain why I saw somebody hitting the uh, Roast Mushroom. You can just slash heal and AFK for five minutes. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, yeah. High quality items do not count. That'll be an easy one. It's all a blur. Perform disorient distortion skill chains on Beetle family monsters. The requisite number of times. Okay. That could be fun. I don't mind doing distortion. Oh, that glitters. Fish up crystal bass. The requisite number of times. Oh! So that's gonna be uh, Jugner Forest. They have a little rainbow um, spring that you can fish up crystal bass with. It's part of a sandy quest. A sandy quest I think you can skip. I think. Alright, so yeah, that's kind of neat. I still haven't done all the, uh, Vaniversary. Actually, I think I have done all the Vaniversary. Oh! 
Square Enix. Why? They fixed it. <laughs> Dang it. So, um, before, um, you know, all the Banniverse request. I think all the ones, if you, uh, had completed them and they had a version update, then they would reset so you could do them again and get twice as many keys in the same amount of week. It's okay, these will still reset on Sunday, so it's not the end of the world, but oh well. Takes away my one little joy. Glad came back to FF11 for the campaign. Oh, everyone's always glad when they come back to FF11. Except Cortana and Kitty. So we got her locked up in a closet. She's definitely not happy. I'm gonna drop that because. Don't need no seasoning stones no more. Sorry. Something flew into my eye. I hope it's dead now. I shouldn't say that. Um what else? Oh yeah, we're gonna do Ambuscade. So <laughs> that's right. Objective list. Content. That's it. Content. I swear these things just always fly around only when I'm streaming. As soon as I stop, I never see them. Must be karma or something. Uh, ambuscade. Let's go ahead and click that one and that one. And this one says assist Professor Ray in his research by vanquishing the requisite number of oh, Orogos or toads in non Legion areas. Special reward Ambuscade Primer Volume 1. You may only have one of these items at any given time. Okay, that's not so bad. Sweet. Always glad to come back over for a campaign. Started my bachelor's program. Nice. And well, I won't be on too terribly much at this point. <laughs> Imagine not, but... Welcome back, sweets. You just get to come on for a little bit and, uh, you know, fish. Something relaxing. Chatting with friends. Chatting with friends. And what was the other one? Content. Ambuscade. Primer Volume 2 assists Professor A in his research by vanquishing the requisite number of demons in non Legion areas. This one will be a lot easier. Special reward Ambuscade Primer Volume 2. You did graduate. Awesome. Congratulations. Hope you got your diploma on a great big giant uh, frame. Take off the. Uh, Whatever photo that you had, or photo, whatever painting you had above the fireplace, and just put your diploma up there. That's what I would do. Well, maybe. So, let's see. Porogogos that are close to a home point crystal. Or frogs that are close to a home point crystal. Hmm. And you have a new job. Dang it. Aren't you like a full time mom? No, that might not be it. <laughs> to another area. I'm just gonna check out the other areas real quick, see if something pops into my head as to uh, where some frogs might be. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's not too many that I can think of. I, I think of a. Uh, when I think frogs, I think. You know, the first place I think of is when is it the goddess? Um, it's at the tip of my tongue. Sewer to Baruta in the past. Or seal wheel. Maybe. So apparently the Frog Notorious Monster in Ambuscade Volume 1 can be silenced. Didn't know that. Well, that should help. Makes Chain Spell not a problem. <laughs> so that's going to be like, what, Koromoro? Does he catch silence? I don't know. We'll find a trust in PC that might be able to do it. Is it Battleground? None of those... Actually, no, I take that back. I know where to go now. There are frogs really close to this home point. I've done this before. Itchy nose is very, very itchy. That will be nice with my red mane. Mm -hmm. um, oh, wait. No. <laughs> I got that confused. There is a... Whatchamacallit? 
those little warp thingies. That one directly south of me. That will uh, take you to the frogs. This one may take you there as well, but may not. Let's find out real fast here. And just in case, let's go ahead and get out. Um, yeah, cricket. I haven't done cricket today. And just in case, because, you know, sometimes stuff happens. I'm not on paladins, so I just can't uh, get everything. Let's mount up. <laughs> I got a kitty on a kitty. Let's see if this takes me to the right spot. Of course, I'm going to have to dismount here in just a little bit, aren't I? Yep, dismount so we can climb up this thingy. I thought we could climb up this thing. There it is. You might be able to ascend using these vines if only if you only had climbing them. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Going up. I think I might still be missing the key item to break the glaciers in that one zone. I'm not sure. I'm gonna wait 18 seconds. That's a bit on the lame side, Square Enix. Oh well. So, there's birds, more birds, I'm going to do a spectral jig, just in case. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to get to the frogs from here. Need to spam Embu's Cave on them for points. Mm-hmm. I have 22 triple points, seals, <laughs> Yep, not be able to get to the frogs from here unless no. Let's run over here. This will probably be where Cricket gets stuck. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely not the faster way to do this. Um, let's go ahead and mount up though. And knowing my luck, there's going to be a reeve down here at the bottom. Lots of spondoofy cash and prizes. I don't know what Spondooly is, but it makes me hungry. <laughs> now I'm hungry. <laughs> Curses. Foiled again. Monolith Boulder. Just gonna go ahead and uh, whack that. Let's go ahead and get a uh, cricket involved. And then let's uh, start casting some trust NPCs to speed us along, why don't we? And touch on number two, she always helps. Just want to leave this slang for money. Still sounds yummy. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna eat while streaming. That's my. That's one of my rules. Don't eat while streaming. Don't cuss while streaming. I break that rule too often. And, thank goodness. I'm so not used to this thing taking so long to die. Alright, let's get the Mithra out. We never use the Mithra. This should be good now. Yeah! Tear that boulder apart. There we go. Let's get this one next. Now my trust NPCs ran to the other side. Alright, let's do fight. Nah, let's just do darkness. Man, I cuss a little time on my stream. <laughs> a lot of people do. I, the main reason I try not to is more. Well, that's my way of standing. Up. No, that's not it. Main reason I don't is I'm trying to keep it laid back. Believe it or not. And you know, I think once I start cuss, I typically only cuss when I'm really pissed off. Which, at work, is a daily basis. Here's a toad. <laughs> Takes a little while right there. Keep it real in my stream. Nah. I mean, I think everybody that watches kinda suspects that I'm not exactly a hardcore player. Because I definitely forgot to, uh, Tell Cricket to get into the fight here. You know, just 
like to take it easy. Lean back. Have some fun. Make some money. Because really, Final Fantasy XI, when it comes down to it, it's just a big dress-up simulator for me. Fear the night, for I am in it. Happy Friday. I don't think I'm a hardcore, but some people say I am. If you beat Dynamis Sandy Divergence on the first night, I think that pretty much qualifies you for hardcore. You get drops that sell for 25 million gil. Hardcore. Alright, so this little thingy. There, the waypoint. That's what I was talking about. Come to the waypoint, kill the thing, get stuff done. Now, dismount. It was way worse. I used to play five to six days a week, eight hours a day. We all did. I mean, eight hours was like the minimum amount of time before a party started. And once you got that party, you never left. Um, let's go Western Evelyn. Pioneers Coalition. 15 kinetic units. I wonder what happened to all my spare time. Actually, no. I don't know what happened. Life. It's, you know, when we were younger, 15 years ago, we were skinnier and didn't gain weight as easily as we do now. Now we have to exercise and watch stuff. So, how to use my Twitch sub on your channel? I don't see a button to push. It's a Twitch sub. If it's one of those monetary type things, I, which I'm guessing, I really don't know. Should be a follow button on the bottom right of the stream. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I never actually look at my own uh, stream. I only uh, look at the dashboard. Let's see. Look in this thing here. It's still loading. <laughs> oh well. Watch it open the exact same thing that I'm already looking at. Yep. Exact same thing. I don't know. Is Dentrol a Twitch affiliate or partner? Not unless they did something without telling me. I think only those account types get the subscribe buttons. Ah. These old things I don't know. No, this is just... I stream on Twitch because... You wonderful people. And then I upload to YouTube because, uh... That's the word I'm looking for. Posterity. That's it. I'm an affiliate, so I have one. About 1% 1 sure. We'll look into it someday. After I take inventory of all my, uh... You know, inventory stuff. We're going to travel to another home point. This time we're going to go to Valduania in the past. Castles of Elke, home point number one. Yes. The trolls loves the followers. Sure I do. I love all you guys. No, except Swedes, because she's married. And it gets awkward that way. I'm just joking. <laughs> Damn. I was saving my free sub for dead. <laughs> Wait, people get free subs? No. Alright. He wants to give you tons of monies. There's people that need tons of monies much more than I do. $1,000 credential donate. No! It's the Twitch Prime thing. Oh, yeah! I have Amazon Prime. Amazon owns Twitch. Man. One of these days, I'm just going to have to find a YouTube video that explains all this Twitch stuff. Can't do the cricket yet. Let me do kitty. Oh yeah. So we only need to kill one of these guys, right? That sounds about right. Let's run over here. We'll get him deep. Let me beat. That is so satisfying. I honestly think Prime is a waste of money, in my opinion. Well. Actually, it isn't. I mean, I use the Prime for uh, mostly music, 
but the free delivery or free shipping on yes I actually buy quite a few things on Amazon but I don't want to get from Walmart but yeah unless there's specific streams you want to watch i.e. ones that require Prime for you to view of Prime Blackbeard Randy is a 10 out of 10 <laughs> I think you do get Twitch Prime if you have Amazon Prime yeah that being said I'm not trying to uh, you know plug Amazon they don't need me doing that travel to another home point but I do use their services I actually prefer it and the cardboard boxes they ship stuff in is of decent quality Walmart not so much <laughs> Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, and Amazon also has their Amazon video, which you get in addition. I mean, that way I don't have to stream Netflix or pay for Netflix just to watch a Star Trek. Yeah, watch a lot of Star Trek on the weekend. What were we going? We're going back to uh, Mahora because we actually got to try out these uh, fights. I haven't read anything on the Ambuscape fights yet. It's um, this is gonna be all. We're gonna screw it up because you know we do that, but it's all good. Slow shipping, so I get five dollar credits on digital content. Stack all those five dollar discounts. It's me free stuff. Oh yeah, I also use well, Bing points. They can give you a five dollar gift card for Amazon. I also like to get a uh, five dollar gift card for uh, uh, what do you call them? Microsoft dollars. Now we can purchase money in uh, Star Trek Online. The other MMO I play. It's the one I don't stream. Did MMOSK Volume 2, so loaded easy. Verger mob with books that spawn, just kill the books. Fight mob. It's pretty easy. It's not going to be as easy as the one I'm going to do. Well, actually, I'm going to reset my, uh, excuse me, sub job real quick here. So that I can get the uh, kitty. Not the kitty. The, uh, What's it called? I'm like brain farting all of a sudden. The cricket! Bertha. There we go. I doubt the frog one is soloable unless you use summoner or something. Oh dear. Changing job. Main job. No. Support job. And we're gonna go scholar and then we're gonna change it back to dancer and see how that works out for us. We're gonna do macros. Need to update and get my gear out for summoner. I am coming back to quits. <laughs> hey! Welcome back. And we're gonna do. Actually, we're gonna change our outfit again. No, I think I'll stay in the relic. And, you know, since it's a uh, Dynamis day, everyone's going back to Dynamis. That hammer move he uses one shots players that have full buffs. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, I remember this one now. I had to kite him. Yeah. And as long as I could hold hate, which was very difficult to do since I wasn't actually uh, engaged with him. Oh, yeah, that's gonna suck. Oh, well. Hey, Lenos. Happy Friday, Lenos. You can't do the kite method anymore. Immune to gravity. What if you have, like, movement speed buffs? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What if you just send in your pet to go kill it? And then, you know, have your pet kite it. <laughs> no. We'll find a way. Uh, we're going to do the easy one first. Regular bamboo skate. And we're, by easy, we're going to do very... Actually, I should do this on a job that isn't so well geared. That's no, correct. I'm gonna do very easy. Most certainly, summoner can solo it on very easy, probably. You know, summoner's like the one job I don't have at 99. I mean, literally, the one job. That's right. Zendikwil has one job, and she can't do that. Oh well. We'll take out our frustrations on, uh, this here dude. I thought this guy would have been the uh, version one, but oh well. Don't have to worry much about ads. The only problem is the ads. <laughs> Beastie loyalty, come on up. Whoops. 
I was supposed to do cricket. I don't know. Trust. If he does frog course, he summons five frogs. That's not so bad. It's so, uh when you get like charmed and turned into frogs. That's bad. Alright. I wonder if I can just ignore the uh ads on this. I wonder if there's even going to be any ads on this, since it's like a very easy one. You're going to get like 50 hallmarks for this. Frog mobs hit quite fast. Low delay. Oh, okay. So I'll try it on power then. Casters get destroyed. <laughs> yeah. Um... Here we go. There's a fight button. There's a fusion button. I think we're good. Yeah. Let's try it. I don't even know what my stuff is right now. Looks alright. Boom, boom, boom. Go kitty. Go kitty. Ah! It's the Ars Espiritus. Good thing I put the kitty in charge. Why be a frog when you can just be a frog? What is that one... Notorious monster in salvage. This is going way back. And I think this was like the guaranteed drop for the uh, uh, monk shoes that I needed to finish upgrading my monk shoes. But we just couldn't DPS it in time to uh, do what I'm looking for. Avoid, you know, getting turned into a frog. All right, kitty. Oh, never mind. You're a hot size for it. Well, it's still fusion, so it kind of works, right? Yay, I dealt 500 damage again. Get more sparks. All right, we got this guy down to, I don't know, a few hit points. Wait for Randy just to get a little bit more. Actually, no, I'm not going to wait for Randy. If I wait for them, my tank's gonna mess it up. See? Arch Human? Archangel? He's a troll. I think I'm gonna take him off my trust list. From here on out. We're still ignoring the ads. Kitty, on the other hand. He didn't get to go. Do it again. No, we'll wait for a moment. Oh no, so yeah, there we go. Shentoto do your Shentoto thing. Iroha is doing her Iroha thing. Not so bad. She's probably gonna like do double light. Yep. Ooh, Shentoto's healing him. Of course she is. That's what Shentoto does. She's also a troll. And thank you, Glaive23. We'll uh, take her out of the mix next time. Happy Friday, by the way. And fusion. Or maybe. Probably not. Every single time. Just love getting stunned. Crap. Oh my good summoner gear is in my mom three and four storage. Well that's just an extra what is it like four bucks a month? Something like that. I'm just gonna start spamming the kill button. Let's see if we can get Kitty to uh just tank. Fought him earlier and she was healing him with her spells. Hey, that's that's what Shantoto looks like in a freeze frame. Kill. That's it. Kitty stole hate. Off the troll. Known as Archangel Hume. Life is good. All is well in the world. Do it one more time, Kitty. Get the win. Don't let Shantoto do it. Don't let her do it. That's right. That's why cat people are also. I think the only element that doesn't heal him is light. Well, that convenient. 
Definitely not doing darkness. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. Um, we got an Abjala seal out of it. We got 50 hallmarks, where I think, maybe. Yeah, 50 hallmarks. Now for the uh, not so fun one. Yeah, that one's gonna suck. Maybe, probably. We'll give it a try. I wonder if all those frog mobs have a. That's what I'm looking for. I already forgot what the word I was looking for. If they have a, a lot of hit points, or if you can just like AoE them all down, might be able to. Support job, so caller, support job, dancer. Again, I don't expect to do very well on this, but we might figure it out. All right. Next, and definitely get onto the cricket macros this time. Right. This is gonna be how you don't do it. <laughs> um, targeting ambuscade tomb. Oops. Gonna targeting the ambuscade tomb. Gonna do intense. Also very easy, but not as easy as before. Most certainly. There we go. I liked it last night when they said log out, returning to servers off, and then um, I was like, hey, let's see if we can get one more ambuscade in. And I went in there and did the very easy one and got in there, got the points, exchanged the points, and it's all like, they're not going to turn the server off. Everybody on the server was all like, they turned it off like 45 minutes ago, man. Why does he still get to play? I don't have an answer for that. Except a alphabetically comes before Q, and, you know, it's just a guess. I really don't know. Hey, it's Zombie Hobo. Let's check here. I haven't counted how many more uh, job points I need to uh, finish this Beastmaster. Alright. We are currently at 1249. I don't even need to see how many total you need. 2100 minus 1249. This calculator sucks sometimes. 2100 minus 1249. 851 more job points. That's not so bad. Not so great, but... Oh well. Did us... I haven't read, believe it or not, I haven't read everything that they're doing with the Welcome Back campaign. Hopefully they're going to give us like a, at least a week of gain XP or other stuff. Just a guess. Probably not. Because I really think Square Enix is like, hey, you really want to come back? You're going to like double up the XP that you get so you go out there, you kill a uh, bunny and it's all like, level one. Now you're level two. You can go kill another bunny. Now you're level three. Like, this is easy. Take it for 99. And it's all like, oh, 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 this is the Final Fantasy. I remember. <laughs> oh, well. All right. We are next in line. Maybe. Maybe not. Probably. I wonder if everybody's sewing that tonight. Uh, actually, let's see. Search area. I am looking for Sandoria, Southern Sandoria. There's 18 players in Southern Sandor. They're not all in parties, though. It's not so bad. So I wonder if players are going to be, like, hanging out in Sandy going, Hey! Paladin looking for a party. Do you need a Paladin? Beastmaster? Mm -hmm. How about a Black Mage? Oh, yeah, get the Black Mage. Like, Alright! Are they even going to do pickup groups for uh, Divergence? I wouldn't imagine so. I never saw any pickup groups for Omen, but oh well. Shouldn't say that. But I should be focused on not divergence. I should be focused on Burt Gang, which I kind of am. I'm just not focused on it. There we go. Finally entering the very easy Embuscade. 
See how this works out for us. Doom's parties. There you go. Be the change you want to see. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. What would be the best way to do this? I wonder. Good question. I really don't know. Um, trust in PCs because they get buffs, don't they? Trust. Let's get the troll out. If he dies, I won't feel so bad. Alright, and we'll get healers. And. I guess as far as DPS goes, let's get a whole bunch of people to like to do AOE, like all the time. Um. I say all the time. Prish! Prish likes to do AOE, but she's not the my first go to person. Um. Wait a second. I feel like I missed one. Oh, I know, he's gonna be in the dark stuff. Alright, Golka might be good, but. Theodore, Mormar, Babin, Flavin. Ooh! Like, what if you send a. Nah, let's not do that. Iraha, Lion, Murmur, Uka, Semilafina, Maki Chabuki. Little set. She does AOE. All the time, even. Um, and then she might be able to help us out. Okay, let's get some uh, ranged on there, too. I'm just going to pick stuff at random now. Koru, I think we would need him. We usually need him. And then we'll do... Shanto to two in case I get a magic burst. Is that going to be six? This is about pretty random, isn't it, though? Actually, no. The only thing I think to do is a uh, Archangel Gulper for the win. I can do that. Let's do that. Trust. And then Archangel Gulka. He can... Well, he doesn't always do, but he also likes to AoE. I've seen him get killed that way before. Go, Gulka. Alright, so we got a couple Archangels, a trio of Taru Taru, and a Cricket. And no food, because, you know, food. Alright, there's going to be a fight button. Yep, and then... Take me a both pay button. Okay. We'll see what happens. I think we're not going to do too well. But you never know. Fight. Go on. There you go. Let's go hang out over there. I'm just gonna hang out over here. And just watch the carnage from a distance. I'm probably not far enough away. Probably not. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this is close enough to tell the cricket to use the buffet. Alright. That was one hammer. We're still alive. Hey, we got hasted. Haste is good. Alright, I don't think I was close enough for the buffet. I'll wait for him to do, uh... Actually, no. I'll just wait for him to, uh... Summon the frogs. Yeah, then I'll use the buffet. Actually, I got a pretty fast cooldown on that. Okay. Ack! I got gravitied! Alright, he's getting down to about 50%. Well, he's not there yet. This will be where he starts to cheat, right? Yeah, I can see him getting ready to cheat. Oh, Nux, they're coming towards me! That's so lame! Is this normal or hard? No, this is very easy. It's like the easiest of the easies. Alright, that got the hate off me. I have to 
to wait just a little bit longer, probably. Let's try it again. Kill some more of these guys. I like doing so little damage against them, but the boss is almost dead, so I'm not worried. Well, this will be where we die, right? Do it, Cricket! Make me proud. Wait, it's not a cooldown? That's lame! Gotta wait 11 seconds. Get out of here! <laughs> Alright, so we're not out of it yet. Gotta kill all the ads. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, that's right. It's Final Fantasy XI. You're going to target the furthest one away from you. Because reasons. <laughs> so far, so good. I wonder if the number of ads that show up change depending upon the level of difficulty. I'm sure they're going to hit harder. Alright, let's do... Darkness skill chain. Why don't we? Okay, never mind. Galka's like, no, don't do darkness. Nobody likes darkness. And the AoE certainly doesn't do a lot of damage to these guys, though. Let's just do another fight. Cricket. I don't know if Cricket's tanking them, but I'm not taking that much damage. Kind of nice. The troll, on the other hand, yeah. Perhaps the flame serpent general that cast Faragus Bam would be good for this. Eh. That's actually one I don't have. <laughs> I need to go get that guy. He's crazy. Next. Alright, let's do darkness. Oh wait, I forgot to hit the fight button, didn't I? Hey, look, darkness. <laughs> you can get besieged generals as stress? Yes! Actually, I think they give you one of the besieged generals as uh, one of the uh, starter tutorial trust NPCs. The White Mage. Mithra. The one I really want is Zizog. The Zizog. The Mark. The General. The Galka. Get all five. It's on the list of things to do. I am doing this on very easy. Yep. 119. Hit the fight button. And then we're going to go ahead and... I guess we'll wait for Galka to do whatever Galka's doing. There we go. Have they changed? They have it on trust, so they attack automatically if something attacks you. No, you still have to engage it. Though the Black Mage General is linked to get the main notorious principle is not a problem for you. No! Not at all. I think so. I think he was. I don't remember the main notorious monster being a problem. These guys are just sticking forever. I say forever. Dun, dun, dun. He did use a hammer. I saw that. But I was out of range, so it didn't affect me. Yeah. It probably just doesn't do nearly as much damage. But, yeah. Given, if I did this on Paladin, it might be a completely different story. I only saw him use the hammer once. Of course, I was out of range, so yeah. One is weak, and the other is the bad... Oh! Okay. Well, that's cool. This would have been faster if I brought other friends. But that's probably what the weekend's for. I think he only uses magic. Hammer. It's called Quenching Hammer. I haven't seen the other one yet. That's the bad one. <laughs> Yay! And that's Ambuscade. Well, that's a very easy Ambuscade on Beastmaster, which kind of breaks the game, but oh well. That's why I'm leveling it. Damage equal to the number of buff on targets and the number of mages in the party. Ah, 
Dwelling Hatch and Toto. <laughs> Are the frog adds weak to magic? I would hope, because they certainly were resistant to uh, damage. At least I felt that way. It was once we started skill chaining that he started just dropping like flies. I don't know. If I could take us into uh, Dynamis Divergence and uh, show you what that's like, I would, but I'm, uh, oh, this is for mature audiences. True. Copy just for everybody else that uh, wasn't here at the very beginning. We're just going to do haste, enter. This is H. Galeon's link to uh, his run. At least I think that's his link to his run for uh, when he did Dynamis Divergence. Frogs, I think, are naturally damage resistant since they really don't do anything special. So where do you go to farm 10 mobs for the voucher? Um, That one zone. <laughs> what should I call it? I'm so bad with names. Uh, I'll run to the home point crystal and uh, get the name of it real quick here. I hope it's not 10 mobs. For the version 1, they seem to be uh, reducing it quite a bit. Of course, I haven't checked yet. Travel to another home point. It's going to be at the second page, almost all the way at the bottom. East of Bulka. Um, Marjami Ravine. You can take the home point crystal, but that's going to take a little bit of a while. Volume 1 is 3 miles, volume 2 is 10. Ah, the demons. Demons might not be so bad. I'm just worried how much... Uh, how many hit points that one guy's gonna have? That's all good. Kijaro! Happy Friday. So, yeah, that's about it. So, this is just a version update video, and I've gone about. I think I've gone over everything real quick. Let me just double check, make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, <laughs> equipment can be for the refill. Right, well, let's go see if I can at least get access to it. Even if I can't go in there just yet. Unless somebody's all like, hey, we're going in, wanna come? Yeah, sure. Traveling to another home point, let's go to Juno. And, um, the loot gardens. Home point number one. Yes, please. I really don't know exactly where we're gonna be going. I'm just gonna be looking for where all the other players are. That's not true. You can go to, what was it, G8? <laughs> All right. Speak with the triple question mark from the Lou Gardens at G8. After having blah 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 blah, I have that in 99, so I can help you if you need. That is. Well, since I don't know what we're doing yet. <laughs> so this is H. G would be this way, or the other way. And this is G8. All right. See anything shiny? I don't see anything shiny. Maybe it's over here. Here it is. They put it by the auction house. That's cool. What do you think Kinetic's selling? I think I know what he's selling. Check. View wares. Mmm. He's got steak. And fruit. And a hat. Should cheer him. Just in case he's there. Alright. So I'm going to talk to the triple question mark thingy. We're gonna see what it says. Ah, it's a goblin. Huh? You're you? Who you? Wait, you can see me? Just kinda. Say you can see him. Alright. I don't get it. How can you see me? Ah, uh, you must have the prismatic hourglass. I've got one just like it. My friends tried to stop me, but my curiosity got the better of me. It was great at first, losing myself in a quest for treasure, but before I knew it, I was like a ghost. My body remains stuck in the other world, and only my spirit is able to return. However, I've got no regrets. It's actually a blast. I've got all this treasure to myself. <laughs> I know how to get there. You might not be able to get there, but I can help show you the way. What do you say? Right away. Getting on Zerino, seeing the game. All right. I can see you're full of curiosity, just like me. First. You'll need an empty hourglass for your journey. It's a bit different from the prismatic hourglass, you see. There's something strange about the empty hourglass, like it's cursed or something. I have a feeling you'll find out soon enough. Past, 
future, light, darkness, or perhaps something else. And the only thing I know for sure is that it won't turn out very good for you. So, are you sure you want to go through with this? More than ever. I can see you're not easily deterred. Well, in that case, you're going to have to buy an empty hourglass from me. Do you know about the ancient currency used in the realm of men during the Shadow Reign era? I'll trade you for a Montyon silver piece, a hundred bind bill, or a Lungo Nongo jade shell. Come see me when you're ready. Someone in Dynamis Divergence was able to kill the Howl boss notorious monster. What did I get? Or is it just a time extender? He drops the Kindred Crest as I predicted. it. Alright. Actually, right now I don't have any hundred coins on me. I sold them all. I know. Um, let's see if there's any available, and let's see what the prices are. They're probably outrageous. Oh my god. Let's see here. Super expensive item. Alright, they got ten Lungo Nungo Jade shells, and they are going for... Yep, that's a definite increase in price. That's actually... Hasn't gone up in price. Then the hundred binds, they are all right. So it's going to be the silver piece, isn't it? Price history, four hundred bid, one two three four. Would have never thought a silver piece would be less expensive than the other two. You were able to, but dang it! One two three four and one and yes. There we go. This might be the... That's not the first silver piece I've ever bought. <laughs> Seems the Notorious Monster is very tough. It does the same moves as the Orc Beastman King Notorious Monster from Wings of the Goddess Burning Circle Notorious Monster. Tornado Edge. Ah! I've been pinched. Alright, so you just trade the coin to the shiny thingy? To the shiny thingy. Hey, I got high purity belt. Where did that come from? Oh, when I was fighting that one thing earlier. And hits were 3k from what he said, so pretty much dead DDs. 3k! Everybody just has to use shadows, right? Right? Ah, I see you've come bearing gifts. Okay, here's the empty hourglass as promised. Now, there are a few conditions for traveling to this world. First, it's dangerous to go it alone. Bring your friends with you. You need at least three people, and you can take up to 18. If there are too few or too many, not everybody will be able to make it back. Second, it's important to get your rest. If you go, you need to rest at least 60 hours before going again. That'll help you end up like me. Third, this isn't really a condition, but the treasure there is mine. I'm simply asking you to bring it back for me. Over there, you'll find goodies like this everywhere you look. Our work shows you a rusted identification card. This is a name tag used by humans during the Shadow Rain era. It seems they were quite the formidable fighting unit. You might also come across something like this from time to time. Beastman Metal. It's a campaign medal that was given to help boost the morale amongst the Beastmen during the Shadow Rain era. It appears to have been forged from the name tags used by the humans. You'll find treasure like this everywhere, over there. Bring them to me. Of course, I wish you to reward you properly. Just bring me that treasure. Understood? And he disappears. And we got our key item. Empty hourglass. Oop, oop. All right, it's pretty much dead DD. Seems sub ninja is needed. I sub ninja, and that helped a lot, especially on the boss. Boss spams seismo stomp, and that hits for up to 1.1k. Everybody also just needs to bring their defending ring. That'll change all that 3,000 damage down to 2,700. Wait for that bug to land on something so I can squish it. All right, so. I have access now. I just need to find a couple other crazy folks that want to go in there. Want to see Cinda fight Dynamis. See how well his paladin does. One day. One day. But I don't think we're ready for that just yet. It might be. And let's see what else we forgot. We did Ambuscade. 
I guess I should check the rewards, but I don't think there's going to be too much difference. And then we got the Blizzard brand plus one. And yeah, I think that's about it. It looks like folks have already started um, grabbing the other thingies. 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 Paladin has to pull mobs hit too hard. Ah, okay. Wait, no sack pull? I want to see a sack puller. Lanos. He can bring his thief. Sack pull everything. <laughs> oh. What shall we do? What shall we do? I still got a summoner I need to level up. Thief puller is not a good idea. <laughs> Trust you, job points, sub jobs, guild points, Limbus, mission, city quest, outline, skirmish, incursion. That's right. Incursion used to be on my list of things to do. Chocobo racing. That's on the list of things to do. Raise a better chocobo. I don't want to get so old. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go let the kitty out of the bedroom and uh, feed her before she uh, does something to uh, exact revenge. Um, and it is Friday, so I'll probably be up all night playing other games. The weekend, I'm not, I'll try and log into Final Fantasy XI because it's the free weekend and might be able to see a couple friends from the good old days. Maybe, maybe not. I'll see if I can actually bring Dent in. Last time I tried bring Dent in during the free campaign, I was like, no, can't do it. You unsubbed. I'm like, well, sub me again. And that's how we brought him back. Fun times, fun times. Um, I'll say there was something else, but eh, they'll come back. Y'all be good. Stay safe. Have fun. Don't get caught. Especially many. Well, actually, many can get caught now. He's a GM. He unca uncatch himself. And I'll catch you next time. Bye. Let's uh, go grab some tacos. This... Something that somebody said earlier made me hungry. And that's really why I'm starting early. Logging off early? Only 8.30? Yeah! I'm hungry. Somebody was, like, talking about some pastrami or noodles or something. So yeah, I'm gonna go stuff food in my face. Catch you next time. Bye. Oops, I forgot to hit the stop recording.